Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. Today, I have the DJI RS3 and the RS3 Pro with me. Now, DJI just launched this gimbal and I was among the lucky users to test it out before the release. Before this, I used to use the DJI RS2 Pro and that was my favorite gimbal till date. Now, DJI says they have improved the RS3 and it's an improved version of the RS2. Now, whether or not that's true, let's check it out. Disclaimer, DJI is not paying me to say any of this. This is an unbiased review and I'm super excited to test this gimbal. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. I will start with my favorite feature and that is the automatic locking and unlocking of the axis. I'll show you what I mean. So, once I turn the gimbal off, let me figure out where the switch is. Okay, once I turn the gimbal off, you see the axis get locked. And now, once I turn the gimbal on, the axis get unlocked and this is my favorite feature why because i could lock the axis in the dji rs2 pro and that was one of my favorite feature of that gimbal but if i forget to unlock the axis and then i turn on the gimbal there's a lot of pressure on the motors and the, your gimbal can get damaged now dji solved this feature by implementing the automatic locking and unlocking feature as you can see this feature only takes couple of seconds right it unlocks automatically it locks automatically and it's very convenient when you're shooting on the go i feel this is going to be a super useful feature and there are a lot more moving parts in this implementation i agree but according to my experience it is very robust till now the rs3 and the rs3 pro comes in this little bag and there was a design difference between the rsc2 and the rs2 that design difference is not present now the design is very similar and the major difference between the RSC2 and the RS3 is the detachable battery. And any day I would prefer the detachable battery because let's say you want to swap the batteries, let's say you want to charge the batteries, this is a much more convenient design. Yes, the battery is smaller than the RS3 Pro but the grip is really comfortable. I don't have very large hands, even if I'm shooting for longer duration, this really feels very comfortable. The most important thing about the gimbal is how does it look from outside? I'm kidding. The most important thing about the gimbal is how stable it is. Now, before this came out, my go-to gimbal was the RS2 Pro. And according to me, the RS2 Pro has to be the most stable gimbal I have used till date. DJI says they have improved the stabilization with their new stabilization algorithm by 20%. And according to my experience, the footage does look a bit smoother. When you're walking, there's a bit of vertical shake. And I feel the vertical shake has been reduced in this RS3 and RS3 Pro. RS3 is 250 grams lighter than the RS3 Pro and you will notice the weight difference but the payload of RS3 Pro is 4.5 kgs and for this it is 3 kgs. I shoot alone or with a smaller team then why am I going for the RS3 Pro? Because my primary camera is the Nikon Z9 and the RS3 cannot balance the Nikon Z9 because the tilt axis is shorter. So if you are using heavier camera setups, heavier lenses, then RS3 Pro is the way to go. If you are using compact setup, then RS3 is the way to go. I am done. I am not able to shoot anymore. I have to keep this down. You have a 1.8 inch OLED touchscreen that's very conveniently placed. And when you want to change the mode, I don't prefer using the touchscreen. I prefer using these buttons. So let's say for example, I want to switch between pan follow and pan tilt follow. It's just one button. I can also go to FPV and customize the FPV. I generally keep it to tilt only mode. This is the portrait mode, I guess. Yeah, so I generally keep it to tilt only mode. And when I'm shooting, I want to change between modes. This button is much more quicker. The briefcase handle has been redesigned and it's foldable. When you're shooting for longer period of times, this becomes much more convenient because the weight is much more evenly distributed. 
When you're shooting with gimbals, when you're using heavier cameras and lenses, it can be really difficult. And one pro tip is please do join some gym, do some physical exercise, because even if the weight is distributed, when you hold this for longer period of time, it is going to put a lot of pressure on your forearms. The RS3 and RS3 Pro both are extremely capable gimbals from DJI. As a filmmaker, this is going to be a very good addition and I'm looking forward to use the RS3 Pro and again, the reason being the Nikon Z9 is a bit taller for the RS3. If you're using compact mirrorless cameras, the RS3 is the way to go. If you're using heavier setups, RS3 Pro is the way to go. If you're using the RS2 Pro, it's not mandatory to upgrade. Yes, you get the automatic locking and unlocking feature. Yes, you get a bit more stable footage. But if you're coming from, let's say, RSC2 or any gimbal older than that, this is going to be a very good upgrade. That's it from this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm at a very good location and the weather is really nice. So even I am enjoying shooting the video. And if you enjoyed the video, press the like button. And um, nothing much. Comment what was your favorite part of the video. Video, subscribe to the channel to support the channel let's hit 1 million as soon as possible i will talk to you guys in the next one bye